Hello everybody, it's me Kevin and today we are going to see Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald. Now, if you don't know this movie, this movie's basically where, uh, you know, it's basically a sequel to Fantastic Beasts. If you haven't seen that, it's a spin-off slash prequel to the Harry Potter series. It Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them took place in uh, 1926. This time, this takes place uh, 1927, so... Yeah, basically it. So, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. If you can't tell. You know, that, 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 and that. Oh, and also that. But yeah, so, uh, sorry. But anyway, like, it's, I, I find it baffling how at the beginning of the year... I was, like, not really considering watching this movie when, you know, when, like, near the end of the year now, I'm now wanting to. Like, it's funny, like, if you guys don't know, on July 20th, 2018, I watched Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and I liked it. It was a good, it was a good movie, you know, all that. It, it was pretty good, you know. I'll get my review on it. And then I, w I continued watching him, and I enjoyed it a lot more. They kept getting a bit better and better. Chamber of Secrets, better than the original. Prisoner of Azkaban, more better than the original. In fact, it got pretty awesome. Like, I remember there were... I was watching some reviews. I was watching Chris Duckman. I was watching uh, Chris Duckman. I asked one of my friends, Sam, who, like, said it was where it gets more awesome. I, like, I was, like, excited. And then I watched it, and I was like... Oh my god, that was great. Goblet of Fire. Uh, it, it's it's not better than Prisoner of Azkaban, and, but I, I like it still. It's pretty... It's still good. It's still better than the original, actually. Order of Phoenix. Really good. Although not better than Prisoner of Azkaban, it's, like, second. Half-Blood Prince. Like that movie as well. Although more weaker than most of the Harry Potter films, but still better than Sorcerer's Stone. I really like the Sorcerer's Stone, but, like, the movies continue to expand the story and the world, and I really liked the movies and such. Now, then there's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Really liked it. It was very intense, dark, and suspenseful and stuff. You know, it was pretty good. And there's also, uh, you know, it's, I really like it. It's a pretty good movie, actually. It's still better than the original. Harry Potter film, first Harry Potter film. And then there's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Now, that is the best Harry Potter film of, of all time. I'm sorry. If you like Prisoner of Azkaban, fine. But I think the Deathly Hallows Part 2 is awesome, epic, emotional, you know, all that. I'll give my thoughts on each of these movies in more detailed ways. But, yeah, I like them. So, yeah, that's what I think of the movies. Fantastic Beasts. I like it. it. Expands the world. It's better than the original. I used to think it wasn't, but now I do. If you, see, I'm gonna post my review soon, just to get my thoughts. But yeah. Oh yeah. If you guys seen my yard sale video, I got this and these books from a you know yard sale. I'm probably gonna bring uh, I'm probably gonna bring the wand with me. I, like if you seen my uh, if you seen my like one of my videos, I wand ceremony videos, I. You know, it, my wand would be a sycamore and a uh, unicorn hair. I really, I, I really like these two Fantastic Beast sets. This is incomplete because of uh, the person that sent me them didn't send me all the pieces. And I am a little sad, but that's okay. I really do like this set, though. This this suitcase, it's like pretty awesome. Muggle-worthy and such. I really like these figures. Like, like I got most of these figures, but these other figures were from other people. And if it wasn't for their help, I probably wouldn't be able. I probably wouldn't have them, like right now. So I'd like to thank RV Lego guy, and also uh, some other people as well. But yeah, these figures are extras actually, except these three. These three are mini figures. But yeah, like, but anyway. Like, figures, the figures right here, I use, these are extras. The reason I use extras is because I don't want to disturb the, 
like minifigure like display i want to use like figures without you know i just want to have extra so i can just use them for filming and such so i do have a lot of pieces here but yeah like i reviewed i reviewed these sets in uh I reviewed these uh, sets and, uh, you know, I reviewed them in the video. Like, I'm in my, in my Lego channel, Lego Guy Kevin, so yeah. So go check them out if you want to see the reviews for all of them. I reviewed every single Harry Potter set except the Diagon Alley and the uh, Hogwarts UCS. But yeah. So we're about to go now, and uh, I'm excited now. <laughs> I really am excited since we're about to, we're about to go there now. We're gonna see it in the cube. Now I made a Jurassic World video where I, I watched it in the cube. I'm pretty sure, but yeah. So I'm hoping it's good, and I'm bringing this with me. Can't forget this. But yeah. So see. Ya. Yes, we're gonna see it in the cube. I'm excited. <laughs> so yeah. So far we are in the theater now, and it's. 632 and I'm gonna try to talk louder than the music. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted. Why did it why do music have to play? But yeah, it's 632 right now and one of my notifications was new JK Rowling book released. I didn't know you're taping. Oh. Well, no, recording the movie, so I won't do that. Hey, isn't it somewhere the dark movie? No, it's a Lamborghini, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's a Sorry I'm showing you my shoes, but like we got these posters. From Fantastic Beasts, and like one of my notifications. Yeah, Eric brought his wand. He also. Oh, is, he's also wearing his scarf. scarf. I will. Scarf. Wait, you have to let them see it because they can't. They don't go know how awesome it is. Like, yeah, that, that is a cool scarf. I also I wish, brought my I wish wand. Because yeah. Harry Potter is obviously the best series of all time. Sorry if the music's playing. I hope it. I hope this. Good song, Kevin. What are you talking about? You got that one? You cheater! No, I didn't. You cheated on this movie. No, I didn't. I got a. I got a wand. Let me try. No. Let me try it. But yeah, like one of the it's notifications so was saying new J.K. Rowling book release, The Crimes of Grindelwald, the original screenplay. So, me and Eric are about going to see this movie in like, eight, like six minutes. And what's funny thing is I have some internet, which means I can watch The Order of the Phoenix on TV right now on my phone. So, yep, win for everyone. <laughs> so yeah, only a few minutes left till the movie and uh, three minutes. So, <sighs> I'm excited. I'm a little scared because the reviews aren't, you know, are, it's, it's at 47 right now. People are saying it's a mess so far. So it does worry me a bit, but I think this may be one of those situations where um, the audience likes it more than the critics. I'm seeing how I like Batman v Superman more than the critics did. I'll probably like this more. I'll probably like this a lot more than the critics will, but a few minutes left. So yeah, we'll see. So yeah, the movie's done now, and I also forgot to mention there was like a poster over there, like while we were walking to the movie theater. Oh, your poster's, yeah, your poster's there, but yeah. Yeah, so the movie's done, and... My gosh, that is a lot of stuff that happens. I'll explain all at home because I don't want to reveal it like right now. I want to think of my thoughts of the movie, but so far, I like it. It's really good. It's great. I'm going to reveal spoilers, so if you haven't seen this movie, then, uh, you know, then don't watch this. Don't watch this review. Well, this video. I'll make my full, like, review, like later on maybe Monday or something but I have to still I have to still uh I have to still review Fantastic Beasts and where to find them I'll, I'll actually no I already made that I just need to I just need to upload it but yeah so I'll make a review for this maybe another time but like when I get home I'm just gonna give my my thought initial thoughts so this is what the poster looks like and It's basically who will change the future, and it has Newt, uh, Tina, Queenie, Newt's brother, Jacob, Lita, Grindelwald. Um, there's Dumbledore, Nicholas Flamel, Credence, and Nagini. 
so that's the poster we got, and I'm glad I finally have a Harry Potter poster. Or something like that. One day I'll get a Hogwarts poster or something and put it right here. Or maybe there. We'll see. But yeah, I'm now to my thoughts. It's time for my initial thoughts. But yeah, so what I think of the movie is pretty good. Sorry, I have to move. But yeah, so. Um, sorry. But anyway, that's what I was saying. The movie's pretty good. I really like it. I really like all the stories that were there. Like, um, there was Newt, there was Tina, there was, like, Jacob, there was, like, Queenie. They, they, they all kind of have stories, but a few were, like, connected together, and then they, you know. They had their own stories. There was Lita's story. There was Dumbledore's story. Quirks did call. That was like, um, that made the movie a mess. But I probably would disagree because I really liked the stories. Like, the stories were really good. I, I like Dumbledore's, Lita's, Newt's. I mean, Queenie's and Jacob's. Like, all their stories are very good. I really liked it. The movie was... Fantastic. It really was. It was probably one of the best Harry Potter movies ever. Now, now would the mess, now would, were there a bit too many stories? Maybe, maybe not. I did like Credence's story. I did like Grindelwald. Johnny Depp was great. Sorry, but yeah, so. <laughs> did I break a wall or something? Like, what the heck? Oh, if I lean on this too much, then. But yeah, so the movie was good. I liked Johnny Depp's Grindelwald, which I was worried about. But you know what? He had some talent in him, so that's good. Good job. I like, um... I do like... Like, I like Newt a lot more here. So I think this is probably better than the... This is probably better than, um... Than the first movie. So yeah. Those are my thoughts. I'll give you my full review later on, but yeah, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later. Bye. Also, glad to mention that that was my first Harry Potter movie I've ever seen. In the big screen. So, mission accomplished. So anyway, I hope you, um, hope you muggles or nomads like this video, and Mr. Bandage.